<laughs> Hello, I'm Joe. And I'm Abby. Join us, you know you want to. Because it's time for the next big thing. <laughs> wonderful world of music music that is just so beautiful it reaches down into your soul and makes easy you want to... should not get carried away but she's right you know we do have some top acts and some great music so sit back and enjoy the next half hour as usual we have got our studio audience here who are ready to vote for who they want to go through to the grand final and that's where you lot at home come in because you get to vote for the overall winner at the end of the very last show Whoever you vote as our next big thing will win that fantastic opportunity to work with a top producer at a major recording studio, and who knows where that may lead. Let's take a look at Act One. Meet seven-piece rock band Yellow Cab from Preswick in Scotland. There's Sean, Matt, Fraser, Bob, Jennifer, <laughs> Heather, and lead singer Nick. <laughs> They really impressed the show's producers at the next big thing auditions in Edinburgh when they played two original songs. Well, once I got warmed up in the second song, I think the second song went better than the first. Once picked, they were invited to Glasgow to rehearse for the big day with the show's musical director, Rich. Hello, Yellow Cab, and welcome to the world of television. And well done for getting on the show. The idea of today is firstly to choose the song you're going to do, and then secondly, We've got to do a sort of edited arrangement of that song because each band and each act on the show only has two and a half minutes, roughly. If we actually cut a song down for the show, I was, well, I was a wee bit worried before I heard it because I didn't know what it sounded like, but once I heard it, I thought he'd done a real good job of it. My image really is uh, a casual and comfort image. Uh, as you can see, <laughs> we're all wearing jeans. We've all put our legs up. <laughs> <laughs> Getting used to the camera isn't as easy as it first seems. But everything started to fall into place once the band arrived at the studios. Now that we've had the studio rehearsal, I feel much more confident about the performance, but I'm um, still quite nervous. Because of... Their meters running, performing their own track, My Garden, this is Yellow Cab. <laughs>
as they taxi their way over, get it, to Abby. I'm going to find out what the audience thought. So, uh, did you like that one? Yeah, it was a very catchy tune. Yeah, what are you into normally? R&B. You still thought that one was pretty good? Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to find out what they thought of their own song. They're over with Abby in the Bonquette area. So much talent on one Bonquette area. Well done, guys. Fantastic performance. Was it intimidating in front of this lot? It was, really, because uh, we've only played at school, so playing in front of an audience like this is really nerve-wracking. But once the crowd started going, it was really good. Start to enjoy it. Cool. Now, Bob, tell me, how did you lot all get together? Because there's so many of you, and you all play different instruments. Yeah, well, we all go to the same school, and we kind of like the same music, so just going to perform from there. Brilliant. Well, it's a good thing you did, because you got on this show, so good luck. And while these guys go off to the green room, let's check out their competition. Here's Act Two. Mm -mm -mm. Yo, it's the MC Floyd D. Yo, for the CBBC. Hey, for the next big thing, Mr. My MC, keep bubbling. Check one, check two, check three. Jamie is 17 and from London. He came along to our auditions, where we decided to set him a challenge. <laughs> They asked me to squeeze in the words CBBC and VBC into the lyrics and freestyling, so I managed to get that in there somewhere. Well, you managed so to do that. I was practicing that really well, wasn't I? <laughs> so it was all worth it, yeah? It was worth it, yeah. Good, well done. Thanks for getting me up here, man. That's okay. How I got into DJing and MCing really was through my friend. He actually started DJing, and I was really interested in it as a hobby. I used to see it on the TV, so I was looking to start it up as a hobby anyway. I went round his house.